Hello all, it's Kia of Kia Comments and I'm back with another video. This is part two of my book haul. The first part was filmed on a different day, hence the different outfit, but I'm back and let's get right to it. The first book in part two of this book haul is by Anne Tyler and it is called A Spool of Blue Thread. Now, I was hesitant to read this book, not because of anything except for the fact that it has been really hyped and I've just heard a lot of buzz about it and I like to read a book with no impressions other than my own. Having said that, I picked it up in the library because the blurb really intrigued me. This book is about familial ties, which is something that Anne Tyler tends to do in all of her books and it spans three generations of a particular family, the Whitshank family, and revolves around one particular character, Abby. What really drew me to the book is the, was the description of the house where the family all seem to convene. The house seems as though it might be a character in and unto itself. And if anybody has seen any of my previous videos, you know that I tend to gravitate toward books where Usually place acts as a character in the form of a country, but I like the idea of place acting as a character in the form of a house, and so I picked this book up. My next book is a book that I picked up because I watched a review by Nana of SCS Reads, and she discussed this book in relation to any writer or reader who is interested in books that delve deeply into character, and that book is called House Fra, and it is by Jill Alexander Esbaum. The book, as far as I can tell from the blurb, follows an American named Anna who has been living in Switzerland with her husband, who is Swiss, for the past nine years. On the surface, it seems as though there's nothing wrong with their marriage, but Anna is imploding somewhat, and she's casting around for things to give her meaning or purpose or at least to slow this implosion that she's going through. Some of the things that she's been casting around in terms of coping with how she feels is German classes, other things are extramarital affairs. So the book seems to follow Anna through the journey of her implosion and I'm really interested in how this character might evolve or devolve um, because I do like books that focus on characters and character development. This next book in my book haul was also a book that I saw reviewed by Nena of SES Reads and it is called A Little Life by Hanya Yanagahara. Um, this book is supposed to be very good. A lot of YouTubers have been talking about it, and though I tend not to be one who goes in for books that have been hyped, I am familiar with this author's writing. Her first book, uh, The People of the Trees, was very good. I enjoyed it quite a bit. I found that she really handled the subject matter, which deals with an anthropologist who goes to an island that most people don't know about and finds a primitive people, primitive quote unquote, people there and adopts the children of these people and molests them. That book was really good and so I figured the hype about this book, A Little Life, might actually be worth it. So the book apparently follows four friends from their college life well into their middle-aged life. The four friends are Willem, JB, Malcolm, and Jacob, but the book seems to center around mostly Jacob. The book is told from multiple perspectives, which is something that I like in books, and the book, I guess, delves into how these friends and their friendships have evolved, what is going on with them, and and I don't know what else. So hopefully this book will be as enjoyable for me as the other book, The People of the Trees, written by Hanya Yanaganara. And if it is, I will definitely do a review. The next book in my book haul by Ivan Ariampo Owa is called Dust. Dust opens with a brilliant killing 
of a young rugby player and engineer student, Moses. The book then embarks on Moses' sister and father, Avriel, coming back to Moses' hometown, their hometown of Kenya, to bury his body. Abriel, Moses' sister, however, is not satisfied with just burying her brother's body and delves into his death, almost in search of Moses himself. The book then goes back and forth in time and investigates the political aspects of Kenya post-independence and pre-independence. I'm really interested in this book because one, I don't know very much about Kenya as a place, and two, I really like family narratives. So I'm hoping that this will be an enjoyable read. The last book in this book haul is the book that I'm most excited to read, and that is Fair Fight by Anna Freeman. Anna Freeman's Fair Fight is set, I think, in 18th century England, and it follows Ruth, a young girl who is born in a brothel along with her sister, but as Ruth grows older, she is not put to work in the brothel and her sister is. The reason Ruth is not put to work in the brothel is because Ruth is not deemed attractive enough and this inability to make a living as well as I guess the lack of attention leads to a physical fight between Ruth and her sister. An individual sees this fight and basically takes Ruth underneath his wing and takes her into the underground world of bare knuckle boxing. I saw Mercy's Bookish Musings do a review on this book and she made me even more excited to read the book. The book, as far as I can tell, is told from three different perspectives, two women and a man, and, a man, and I love historical fiction. I love the fact that bare knuckle boxing did actually happen during this time in the UK and I really like books told from multiple perspectives and I'm interested to see what the UK itself as a place is rendered like in this novel. I'm hoping that the place can stand in as a character also because I definitely have leanings toward books where the place is a character in and unto itself. That is it. That is the end of this book haul. Thanks for watching. I will put all descriptions of the books that I have named in the box below. I will also put the reviews of other booktubers who have inspired me to pick up certain books in the description box below. Keep reading, keep writing, keep reviewing. Bye now.